<sighs> um. Um. Why? I know what you did last summer. The is a reboot of the 1997 movie uh, that starred Jennifer Love Hewitt, Sarah Michelle Gellar, and Freddie Prinze Jr. and Brian Phillippe. A decent classic movie. A classic horror movie. Not one of the best slasher movies. We all know um, that this, this was kind of like one of the movies that came around like Scream and Urban Legend and... Uh, Cherry Falls, Halloween, H2O, those kind of movies. Like the teenage, like, slashers. You know, and like I said, you know, the, the original one, you know, it, it wasn't a perfect movie, but it was it was a worth-watching one. Same thing with the sequel. Not the best movie, but worth-watching. And then came I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer, which not many, most people hate but I actually kind of liked it because of the little twist they had in it. Um, I know it wasn't a bad one, or that was a terrible one, but I kind of liked that one. But this TV series um, or is available on Prime. There's four episodes up. I was going to review all four of the episodes, but I just couldn't do it, man. It, it was just... It was so fucking boring. It was boring. And I'm just like, I'm just done with this. I'm Forget it, I'm just going to do the review right now. I don't know how long, much more I could watch of this. Maybe if there's a Blu-ray release or DVD release of it that comes out in the future, or maybe uh, Stinky Tuna will put it out in the future, I'll get it and I'll watch it that way. But I've only watched three and a half episodes. I only watched half of episode three. I think I just got bored with it throwing, like, in the middle of episode two. I'm just like... And then, you know, episode three, I was just like, I'm just done with it. I'm, I was just kind of bored with it. Um, but there's supposed to be eight episodes. Only four episodes were released, as of right now. Every Friday, there's going to be an episode that's released. I'll try to get into it, maybe in the future. I don't know. But in this version, um, has to do with a girl and her friend who, um leaving a party, and she accidentally runs over someone. In this version, it turns out that the person that she ran over was her twin sister. And, you know, her friends... Her and her friends are panicking. They don't know what to do. And one of them decides they should call the police. Another one's like, no, we probably shouldn't call the police. We have to hide the body. Which is now considered manslaughter now. And that's what they do. And a year later comes, someone knows about it. Haven't we heard the story a little familiar? And now everyone's a suspect, and a killer is out taking people out one by one. It doesn't really show the killer. So I've only watched um, only one one scene of like a, a death that was possibly like supposed to be like a Ben Willis character. You know, I. I was really skeptical about them doing this TV show reboot. I don't think a TV sh show was necessary. But, um, you know, it's Hollywood. It is what it is. But I do like how they changed it around. Instead of just making it be, oh, it's just some random man we ran over. Um, some random old guy, and he's the killer. Um... I liked how they changed it the fact it was actually someone they knew. So, with my prediction, I don't know yet. But, um, I'm gonna probably go on a limb and say the person who the killer is, it's gonna probably be the one that they ran over, which was the sister. I don't know, because we're not there yet. But, um... I really wish they would have just done a movie more. I know there was talks about Blumhouse doing it. I don't know what happened. Um, and really, you know, it's like almost every horror movie is turning into... They're making reboots of, like, TV show versions of them. 
Like, we got the MTV screen. I know I was excited about that, but watching it now, I'm like, why the hell did I get excited about this? We got Bates Motel, which Bates Motel was very good, way better than all the other reboots that they've done. Got, I know then, then there was Taken, now there, there's the Equalizer, got the Mist, and then they did that Purge, which I, I have the first season of the Purge, I just need to get the other one. Which, honestly, I don't know why they did a TV show of The Purge. That really wasn't necessary because it was the exact same damn thing. Except longer. Um, and now we got the Chucky series, which I'm hearing is doing fantastically good. And I'm actually liking, from what I've seen so far, it's actually pretty damn good. But there's just half the time with these kind of TV show revive, reboots of to movies... Some of them just doesn't work, and I don't think this one is working so far. It's just too long. There's some stuff that's really unnecessary. I mean, they put drama. They mix they mix horror with drama in it. That's kind of like what they do with the with this. But the Chucky series from from the first episode, they're not doing that. It's straight up 100% horror. And I'm not saying that drama movies are drama together is bad. I'm not saying that. But there's too much of it. And with, with the Chucky series, they're just going straight to the heart. They're going straight to the slashing. They're going straight to the killing. That's what I liked about it. They're not... I know Screen did a little too much of that, but uh, it was way better than this garbage. So there's my review of I Know What You Did Last Summer. I'm going to give this one on a scale of 1 to 10. As of right now, probably a 2. Am I going to get it when it comes out to DVD or Blu-ray? Maybe, just to try to give it another rewatch. Um, I don't know. But, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, leave me comments below what you thought about the video, what you think about the show, and follow me on Instagram or friend request me on Facebook.